Hello, everyone. I hope this video finds you well. Um, I'm going to be going over just a few things um, that are important when it comes to trading options and in particular swing trading. Um, a little about me. I've been trading options for over 25 years um, with the primary focus being swing trades. Now, swing trades usually go anywhere from a week to a couple weeks to even maybe a month or two out. So you are going to find that the trade alerts that do go out the expiration dates on those trade alerts most likely will be a week to two weeks to even maybe longer. So I do have a couple strategies. Um, most of the trade alerts will be going out midweek to end of week for the upcoming week, but there will be uh, times when we do have trade alerts going out in the beginning of the week. Now, to get to the three things that are very important, stop loss, managing your trade, and allocation. Stop loss. When opening a trade, always place a stop loss, not stop limit. My stop loss is usually 50%, which is a bit aggressive, but every person should adjust their stop loss according to their own risk tolerance. There will always be losing trades and we need to preserve the capital we have in those trades. So if my stop loss is 50%, again, that's a bit aggressive. You're more than welcome to do 40, 30, 20. I have found out though, that the, the smaller your stop loss, if you're doing 20% stop loss, there is a chance that you will get stopped out before the trade even works. So just keep that in mind. Managing the trade. When entering a trade, we always have to manage it. This means managing our stops. If you are up on a trade, you do not want to leave your stops below break even. Example, if we enter an option at a dollar, the trade, the trade starts working and the option goes up 50% to $1.50, Move your stop up to a dollar at break even. This is very important. Again, if, if you're in a trade and the trade is going up and you're making money, whether that's 20, 30, 40, 50% or even more, you definitely need to manage the trade by moving your stop loss up. You do not want to leave it below your break even. Allocation. Every trade should have an allocation anywhere between 3 to 5% of your total account value. So on a $10,000 account, you should not have more than 300 to 500 on any single trade. Finally, do not wait for me to take profits. If you are up on a trade and wanna take profits, please do not wait for me to put out a trade alert. There may be times I am in a coaching session and cannot update the trade. Now, as far as the trade alerts goes, a couple examples of how these trade alerts are gonna look. When an Trade alert goes out to buy, entering a trade. It's going to be buy to open, BTO. You'll see a dollar sign with the stock symbol, followed by the expiration date, option that we're buying, and the entry price. C will always mean call, and P will always mean it's a put. Here's an example of exiting the trade. Sell to close, STC. Again, the stock that we're in, the option that we're in, and the exit price. Again, note, while C means call, P will mean put. So as a recap to this, again, number one, stop loss. Always have your stop losses in place. Number two, managing the trade. Adjust your stop loss accordingly as the option is moving up. Allocation. Do not allocate more than 3 to 5% per trade of your total account value. And finally, do not wait for me to take profits. I want to thank all of you and especially monetary for this opportunity. I'll do my best with the trade alerts to keep us all profitable. Thank you.